Hi, my name's Phil. I like to talk about politics and sometimes a situation is so tragic and you are so powerless to influence it at all that all you can do is laugh. And when it comes to Brexit laughs, we can do a lot worse than to listen to Brexit party luminaries from time to time. And one of their MEPs has played another blinder this week. But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and political commentary, then please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification icon. So, a Brexit party MEP by the name of June Mummery uh, tweeted <laughs> something so tragic it is hilarious. She was attending the EU's Fisheries Committee and asked the following question. Who will hold these people to account while they still control Britain's waters, but the UK has no representation? Well, you can imagine the response. An overwhelming pro-EU cascade of replies all echoing the same thing. The only difference is that this Brexit Party MEP represents the very people who created this state of affairs. I mean, you know, why aren't we going to be able to get any representation? Because people like her campaigned for us to leave. One classic response was, Brexit Party MEP complains about Brexit stripping UK of influence in the EU. It should also be noted that this is the same EU Fisheries Committee that Nigel Farage used to sit on as Britain's representative. I say sit on in the loosest sense of the term, you understand, because he only ever attended one meeting and didn't really do very much there. Uh, but he used to make great play of the fact he was on that committee in speeches, trying to make out he knew lots about you know, British fishing. Which, of course, highlights just how little Farage and his angry little band really care about these industries. Farage knew that he was the one fighting Britain's corner on that committee and didn't even show up. Uh, so it's not like the UK even had anyone holding them to account on the issue before anyway. And all because of that pro-Brexit crowd. In trying to defend this baffling statement from the MEP anyway, a more canny Brexit party spokesperson tried to say that, no, 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 you don't understand. What she was complaining about was the transition period, you know, when the EU will be deciding on these matters, but the UK will have no representation. She's not complaining about Brexit itself. You know, this is why they say they advocated a clean break and not entering a transition period at all. Now, that will convince, sorry, a few Brexit supporters, sure, because, you know, that on a, in a sense makes sense. So if the Brexit party's position is that they wanted us to leave the EU not into a transition period, but into a no deal scenario, uh, a complete clean break as they call it, then yes, her statement could be seen to make sense. Because what she's arguing for is, oh, there's this time when the EU are going to be deciding things on fishing quotas. We don't get to decide because we're in the transition period, but not in the EU. Okay, fine. Right. However, there's a little inconsistency there, isn't there? So do we remember last October, before we had this latest, and as it turns out, final extension? Remember when crashing out on October the 31st without a transition period was a realistic prospect? What was it that the glorious leader of the Brexit party was saying about that prospect? Was Nigel Farage rubbing his hands with glee at the prospect of this so-called clean break, this thing that apparently the Brexit party stand for? No. He was raging at how despicable it was that EU officials should be suggesting that we won't get an extension. He said how appalling it was that, in his words, an unelected retiring bureaucrat, Juncker, was overriding the Ben Act. An act of parliament, I'll remind you, that was designed to stop us leaving the EU without a deal for a transition period. And it should also be noted that Juncker, the unelected bureaucrat in question, was elected to his various positions by more people than have ever voted for Nigel Farage. And he won seats in his own nation's parliament. In fact, he rose to the top of his own nation's government as well as in the EU. So no, this isn't a misrepresentation of a tweet from a Brexit party MEP as the party spokesperson would have you believe. It's a bit of gallows humour about the brainless inconsistencies in their own policies. They cannot say that they were opposed to the transition period when Nigel Farage raised, raged, raged at the prospect of us not getting that transition period upon leaving the EU. So I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel further, then please also click the Patreon link for details 
and until next time, I'll see you later.